Cumberland Gap National Historic Park. We're at the Daniel Boone Welcome Center. Overcast kind of day today. We're going to go back to the day, back to the cave. I don't know if they're still doing the cave tours. Oh. I end up at the Welcome Center today, I'll find out. Daniel Boone. Don't miss reading the kiosk. The info kiosk. There's a lot of information here. Gateway to Kentuck. Absolutely wonderful. A lot of information. Don't miss it. There's a lot of hiking here. Don't miss it. Okay, you have to go to the info center to get a map. Let's see what we got over here. I see some interesting stuff over here. Okay, we got a little bit of honeysuckle and something else. I don't know what it is. I don't have any Wi-Fi here. I right, they got the sound thing fixed here. No. At one time they had a sound here. First time I was here, I was really impressed with these steel cutouts. Yes, bison, buffalo, used to travel this part of the country before man, he ran them off. People on a horseback. On either side, there's a lot of info placards. Info shed, plenty of parking. The other info kiosk stuff here. Yeah. Let's mosey up this trail. There are black bear here. Just so you know. And deer. 
and some turkeys, squirrels, chipmunks. Okay, Boone Trail. That goes all the way to Virginia and onward. Boone Trail, how I like that? I don't know exactly where the old 25E connects up in here. I don't know. I'm not that up on the history of it. Historic Cumberland Gap, we're going to be there. About a mile. Tri-State Peak is 1.6. We could go there, but it's, the fog's going to have to lift. Clouds have to lift. Before we do that, and we are on the Wilderness Road. At one time, 25E went up to the Cumberland Gap before they built the tunnel. A lot of people drove up here to see the Cumberland Gap. My family, about three generations ago, maybe four, went through the gap coming from the east to Southern Kentucky, Russell Springs, Somerset area. The Wilson split as they came through here. Some wanted to farm, so they went to Indiana. They knew about that. You know, it wasn't something that they guessed. There was information available from previous people, Daniel Boone, for example sharing information about the Kentuck. They made a choice coming through. Some of them went to Illinois. They decided they wanted to be farmers. There's nothing wrong with being a farmer. I eat pretty good around because of farmers. Thank you very much, farmers. Let's get a good picture of this. Right here. Focus, lock, snap, snap. There we go. Talking with rangers about this area some time ago, a year ago maybe. I don't know if it's before the pandemic or after. About if there's any way of seeing uh, evidence of Daniel Boone coming through here. Trees chopped down, blazing, stuff like that. How they blazed the trail. Back in those days, they didn't mark the trees with arrows and stuff like that. They cut the trees down, made a path. And here you go. And they had an iron furnace here. Functioning, they have a model now. They cut all the trees down. Something I'm seeing, look at this, see? I thought that was a piece of cardboard. It's not bark off that tree.
youth run up and down a trail. I'll walk it. Neither is wrong, neither is right. The correct for the, the per person. One of the things about many of the trails that I've been on is there's an opening in the trees. See the ridge lines around. Let's do a 360. Got plenty of time. We're not in a big hurry today. Have no idea what that is. But I would suspect it's Queen Anne lace. Queen Anne's lace won't guarantee it. This blue flower is ironwood. Yes, it's tough as iron. A lot of clover. There's some yellow flowers up there. Look somewhat like uh, black-eyed Susans. I was going to say lazy Susans, but <laughs> black-eyed Susans. When they put the tunnel in, the park went through a lot of bits and pieces, history, photographs, surveying, charts and stuff, and tried to return this the best that they could to the way it was. Don't be afraid to read the, read the kioshes. They are packed full of information. Okay. This is a good example of ironweed. They did the very best they could with the information they had to try to get the gap roads back the way it was. Oh yeah, look at this. That's what it was, sweet pea. Look at all of this. I'll show you something. That sweet pea starts back in here, grows and grows and grows and grows and gets out here. Oh, wow, look at this. 
white. That was dark pink. Look at this sweet pea. A light pink white. Beautiful. And the other was a dark pink. Ooh, 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 that's pretty nice. Look at all the sweet pea vining coming out. So it comes clear out to here. Wow. Beautiful. Look at all this. And it's growing up into the evergreen. Wow, wow, wow. Look at all of that. The dark red and the pink. That's the first time I've seen that. That just and then there's this. Look at this little yellow flower. Wow, wow, wow. Let's get a picture of that. Block the focus. Take two pictures. Ah, a lot of sweet pea growing in the area. And the butterfly flew away. Again, I'm not going to go up in there. But there's a plant. Let's see if I can get it. Right there it is. An orangey plant. You know what that's called? Butterfly weed. It's covered in butterfly. Butterfly. Locust. And here we go. Beautiful Trump fit line. Having fun, folks. The trumpet line.
Look at how beautiful that yellow flower is. Wow. Yes, fabulous. Beautiful daisy. Wilderness Road goes goes ahead to our left and to the right. Gap Cave, you see Cujo's. Now, some of this right here that we're on is is uh, part of the base. The 25E used to run right up here to Cujo's. You could park at the uh, little general store. Pay a, a little bit of money for a ticket to go in to the cave. Get yourself some film for your camera, some batteries for your camera, so you can get your good pictures. I don't know if it was guided tours. I would suspect they were. There we go. Look at this. I like trails that have openings where you can see stuff. Like there. Ooh, beautiful. You can drive right up to the right up to it, park your car, pay however they did it, a tour, walk across the street and go in the front door in the gate. Go for a tour. I'm sure they didn't just let you wander around in the cave by yourself. That's too hazardous. People get lost in caves. Okay, see the line in the trees? That's a power right away. Try point is right there. This trail, not this particular part, this goes to the cave, but the wilderness trail will take you down to Cumberland Gap. There's a, an official sign there, tells you that you're there. And behind you, looking at the sign, is the trailhead to go up there. Well, the fog's lift. Clouds are lifting. Ranger will take you on a guided tour of here. You go up that way to the entrance. You go through the cave and you come out and down this road back to the trail. You show up up here and you go for, and they check, make sure you got boot, decent boots to go. Get a flashlight. You go in the cave, unlock the door, let you in, lock you in. You're not coming back that way. You're going in through the cave and back out. I remember where I'm at. I think the pinnacle's right about in there. I may be wrong. Gap Creek comes out of Gap Cave. 
It's a creek coming out of the mountainside. You can hear the water to the left. That's the area that always concerns me up here. Something's been going in and out of there. Maybe bear, you can have a bear up in here. I'm here by myself, I'm not here with the ranger. Clean your shoes off before you go in. Cool breeze coming out. I, know, I normally don't go much farther than this without a ranger. Most of them carry a real nice nine in case it's needed. Gap K. Gap Creek comes out right there. As we go on to the, the Gap, we'll cross the Gap Creek, maybe. Depends on how deep the water is. They got a bridge, walk bridge, but it's closed. Last time I was here, it's Rotted out like such real nice infestation of termites. There's some people crossing over it, but I don't need to be the one going across when it collapses. Again, wonderful views. Cumberland Ridge, Mountain Ridge. Let's do another roll around, have a look. Fort Fergot was right up there during the Civil War. There's the pinnacle up in here, I think there, and here. Maybe the pinnacle's more here. Fort Lyon is up there. You used to have a big cannon up there. Whoever had possession during the Civil War first, they drug a cannon up there. Whoever came in and took, ran them off threw that cannon over the side and drug their cannon up and then they lost possession of it and the other guys threw that cannon over the side and then drug their cannon back up. Caliber. The, the caliber of the Confederate cannon did not match the, 
the caliber of the Union. Cannon, so the cannon was a waste of time to them, so they just dumped it. I'm, I'm going to say this. I, it gets just ran through my mind. We as humans have been throwing trash over the hillside for years. Let's stop that. If you look right through there, you see the town of Cumberland Gap, Tennessee. Right down there is the Wilderness Road. We'll be down there shortly. We're going to take a short break when we get down to the fork Y in the road. Shut things down. Get a little bit of agua in it. Fire back up and go on. Okay. Gap Cave. We're on the Wilderness Road. Let's head towards the gap. We got some right here. Don't know what they are, but let's get a zoomy. Block, photograph, photograph, yeah. Beautiful flowers. And then there's this. This reminds me of sea oats in Florida. Another flower. Huh? Right there. Coming up close to Gap Creek. The bottom of Gap Creek, they used to have a uh, iron furnace. And they cut all the trees down. You know, if there wasn't enough of them cut down, Daniel Boone making the trail. Then they making the road to the iron furnace. They cut all the trees down to uh, make iron. Yeah, comes out of that rock up there, and that ground never gets warm. Great. Is there room for me to pass?
Let's go down to the other side. Now, this wasn't here when Daniel Boone came through, so you know. Basically, there's nothing here from when Daniel Boone came through other than the creek. Oh, let's go on down. We're not that far from the gap now. Okay, we're coming down to the Tennessee Trail. It's a little short trail to the parking lot for Iron Furnace. To our left. They had a mudslide here a year, year and a half ago. Had some pretty good rains. Had a mudslide. They've done a pretty good job fixing it. Put a new culvert in. Half the hillside came down through here. Top of this is Cumberland Gap. Back in Daniel Boone's day. And uh, Colonel Walker. I remember that if I have those correct. They weren't the ones that discovered this. They were the white man that came from the east and was just following the buffalo deer trails. Isn't that beautiful right there?
This is the warrior's trail also that they used going back and forth to fight with each other. They were following animals. I'm going to take a little break. Let's do a 316 just look around. I had the camera aimed a little high. Sorry about that. I'm breathing pretty good on this section. Well, that's about another 15 foot elevation I have to climb up. And about 30 foot. 40 foot, something like that. It's a lot easier going the other way. For those of you who have never hiked like this, my Florida friends, for example, Illinois friends, Florida and Illinois friends, that's one of the most dangerous parts of a trail, right here. Don't look like much but you can easily descend too fast lose control and you're on the ground and those rocks are not made out of rubber or foam solid hard rock they will hurt you and break things We were not quite as close as I thought, but we're getting there. Okay, I think after the next rise we're, we should be at the gap. And if not, maybe it's the rise after that. We're almost there. The gap's right at the top of this. Let's get in the shade a little bit. We're almost to the gap. Take another little break, look down, do a 360, look around, see how beautiful it is up here. We should still be in Tennessee. But we might be in uh Virginia. We're not in Kentucky at this point.
Yep, we are entering Cumberland Gap right now. The other side is all downhill. Okay, we're still on the wilderness road. Tri-State is right in front of us, a little over a half half mile. Cumberland Trail, you take it on up, you can get to come to uh, Fort Farragut. But right behind you here, let's do a 180, is the sign. If you don't do a picture of you in front of the sign, you will never hear it. 